Hey guys, what is the good word? My name is Frank Alexander, and I haven't decided what I'm going to title this yet, but I want to start doing a fairly consistent vlog talking about my my trek through weight loss. Um, I am... It, well, it, it was recently pointed out to me that I'm fat. I didn't know this. <laughs> I can't even say that line with a straight face. No, I am. I'm a big guy. I have been a big guy most of my life, although up until like college, while I was big compared to most, I was damn near half the size I am now. So, yeah, I, I have added another big guy to an already big guy. Um, <clears throat> full disclosure, I am clocking in somewhere north of 400 pounds right now. I say it that way. I say somewhere north of 400 pounds because I actually own a scale that goes up to 400 pounds and it got to the point where it will no longer register my weight. And this is how I... <sighs> I can't believe that's what it took for me to finally see that holy shit I'm fat um <clears throat> but I am I'm, I'm fucking huge uh, I, it's really hard for me not to make jokes right now I have always dealt with my weight um through the use of self deprecating fat jokes it's just who I am. Um, it's the way I handle most of my flaws. It's the way I handle most of the things I'm good at. I joke about them. I, I'm. I don't take life too seriously. I like Van Wilder's quote: "Don't take life too seriously. You'll never make it out alive." It's true. <clears throat> so, um, I did something today that is hopefully. Um, I don't want to say hopefully because that makes it sound like I could possibly fail. Uh, that is going to be the start of me making a change in who I am. I started CrossFit tonight. Um, and it, it kicked my ass. Like hardcore, like I had pain in places I didn't know could hurt. Kind of kicked my ass. But it was a lot of fun. No, it wasn't. I'm, I'm completely fucking lying. It was not fun at all. Uh, but I enjoy the torture. Uh, I do not like to fail. And this is going to be... The only way I'm going to make it through this is to go into it with that mentality. I cannot fail. I have to push myself. I made it a big point tonight during my first session to push myself as hard as I possibly could uh, even though there were times I wanted to quit, I wanted to give up, I just wanted to stop uh, I had it in my head that I cannot fail this, this is probably more important than anything I have ever endeavored upon in, in my life I try to tackle a lot of things. I and whenever I set my mind to something, I push until I succeed. Not to say I've never failed. God knows I've failed time and time again. But I learn. I pick myself back up. I keep going, and I find a way to not fail. <clears throat> After I've already failed once, twice, a dozen times, whatever the case may be, it happens. So, this is going to have to be one of those times where I'm just going to have to push myself. I'm going to have to be that voice in my head. You know, there were a couple of times tonight when I really wanted to quit. I wanted to stop. It hurt. Um, I haven't worked out like that in years. I mean, my junior year of high school was probably the last time I pushed myself that hard physically 
so it was weird um it really was but there were a couple of times I just as I'm sitting there you know or, or standing there or whatever thinking you know oh my god this this is this hurts I'm not gonna be able to stand I'm not gonna be able to stand I'm not gonna be able to walk I'm not gonna oh my god I'm gonna be so sore and it hurts so bad and the only thing I could think is quit being a pussy and do it. Um, or I, I think the quote comes from friends. Well, I play with pain. Um, no, it is Matthew Perry. It is not friends. That's from studio 60 on the sunset strip talks about having back surgery and he's back to work like the next day. And they're all like, Oh, you should be at home. You shouldn't. Blah, blah, blah. And he says, well, I play with pain. I love that line because sometimes it has to be true. Sometimes you just have to push yourself. And today was one of those times. I found that I actually getting home after the workout was in more excruciating pain than I have been in in a long, long time from anything. I don't take risk. I don't get hurt a lot. So I guess that's not really saying much. But I did. I I couldn't hardly walk the two steps from our garage into our house was a struggle for me when I got home because my legs hurt so bad and they still hurt. I ventured down the stairs to come down and shoot this video at my desk and I'm still sitting here wondering how am I going to get back up there because... My knees, my legs, the muscles in my legs hurt so bad right now that I cannot hardly bear my own weight. You know, I sat upstairs contemplating whether I really wanted to come down here and shoot this tonight. And it came down to that. Quit being a pussy and do it. Um, If I'm offending anyone, I'm sorry. But it's the way I think. It's the way I talk. Yeah. Yeah. But that's it. I had to just tell myself, man up, and just do it. Um, So I did, and I I had to do that tonight at the class. Uh, I'm going to have to do that time and time and time and time and time again going forward with this. But the fact of the matter is I am somewhere north of 400 pounds, and I need to do something. My wife and I are talking about starting a family And I want to be able to be a father. I want to be able to play with my kids. I want to, you know, I want to teach my kids to play sports, to play baseball or basketball, or I don't know how to play soccer, but hell, I'll try and teach them how to play soccer. But I can't do that if I'm, you know, six foot tall and 400 pounds. I I just, I won't be able to. So... I don't know what my plan is yet. Um, I went to my first kind of introduction tonight. Um, I have a personal trainer calling me tomorrow. We're going to set up um, a schedule. And I'm going to do it. I'm scared to death. I am utterly terrified right now. Because I'm afraid of failing. I really am. And I think that if I give in, if I let myself cower from the pain, I will fail. And I don't want to. It hurts. It sucks. It is not fun. I mean, I tried to enjoy the workout tonight. I really, really did. I wanted to be like, oh, great. Yeah, that was great. That was awesome. F- fuck. No, that didn't happen. I hurt. I hurt. I hurt during the workout. I, I hurt really bad after the workout. So, um, but no. So I want to start shooting a vlog. I want to try to do one after every workout. Just kind of, they'll, they'll all be shorter than this one, I promise this is going to be the longest one, but I want to do it, just talk about how I feel, so not so much for you guys, but for me, because I want to be able to look back at these a month from now, six months from now, a year from now, 
and hopefully have seen a change in myself to where I'm not sitting here going, my God, that sucked and I hurt really bad to, oh my God, I had so much fun tonight at CrossFit. Um, I hope that's what it gets to. And I'm sure it will. I probably have <laughs> at least 100 pounds before that happens. I, I'm not going to lie. If I could get down to even 300 pounds, which is huge for a human being, if I could get down to 300 pounds, I would feel so much better. And it's stupid, re- stupidly ridiculous to say that. But I mean, I would drop a person. I mean, that is a small adult. Or a small teenager. I, you know, my, one of those skinny little bitches I went to high school with. Uh, <laughs> but no, I, seriously, if I could get down to, a, a, to 300 pounds, holy hell, I'd feel so much better. And then if I got under that, I would just... I don't know. Um, my wife and I took up cycling a couple of years ago, and I love doing that. I actually really do enjoy being on the bike. And I said when I started, I wanted to do a century. I wanted to do a 100-mile ride. 100 miles and a single ride, I want to do a century. That was my goal when I started out. Um, I've hit 46 is my top. That's the farthest I've ever gone. And kind of my goal with CrossFit is to is to have help is to have CrossFit help me hit that hundred mile ride. Um, I know I can do it. I know that as much as it sucks right now, it's only going to get easier from here on out. So I'm gonna have try to have some faith in myself. And I'm, I just want to push. I want to push and push and push myself. Because the harder I push, the easier it's going to be. It's going to suck. My God, it's going to suck. It's going to be painful. It's going to... Uh, it's going to be excruciating. I cannot hardly stand up right now. As a matter of fact, even just sitting in this chair, I'm leaning forward right now. So that you guys can hear me because my mic, you know, I don't know if you, yeah, my mic doesn't reach back if I sit back. If I could sit back here, it would be a lot more comfortable and you can see my gigantism. You can see how bad I am. Now I am going to put some pictures at the end of this. Um, actually, I'll just keep the video rolling. I'll stand up, take my shirt off and you can see just how incredibly freaking huge I am, um, and it's ridiculous. I am ashamed that I have let myself get to this size. Uh, I don't know. You know, you, you, uh, I wonder how this happened. The only thing I can think is I have to dig deep, um, to really push myself. Um, there's going to be a lot of praying during this process. I'm going to need God's help because I don't know that I can do this on my own, but I've got a really great support system. Um, uh, my, my, my wonderful, wonderful wife who pushed me into trying this and I'm going to lean on to continue to push me to continue to do this. Uh, my mother, who has actually um, actually volunteered to help me pay for it because it's not a cheap endeavor. Uh, and I haven't really told anyone outside of that, but it's like, you know, the two women in my life. The I don't know. They, it's just that support. And then I know when more people find out. I know when... My mother-in-law or Melissa's grandmother finds out that they'll be nothing but supportive. And I know I have that system behind me to push me that I don't want to disappoint. Um, there's a lot of people I don't want to disappoint. I don't want to disappoint my wife. I don't want to disappoint my parents. And I certainly don't want to disappoint my future child. I want to be an active father. That's pr- 
probably, as odd as it sounds to say, that's probably my biggest drive right now. I keep looking at what I will be as a father. And at 400 pounds, I won't be much of one. I mean, I can't. How can I get out? How can I get down on the floor and play with my kids when I can't hardly freaking get up? How can I, you know, I chase a little kid around the house if I don't have the energy or the strength to get up and move around? How can I teach my kids to play sports? How can I, you know, teach our little boy or girl how to throw a baseball or kick a football or kick a soccer ball around or or shoot a basketball or whatever they may want to do? <clears throat> How can I do that if I'm this size? Straight answer is I can't. And as much as, you know, I don't want to disappoint my wife and I don't want to disappoint my parents and I don't want to disappoint all of those who support me, the one really big thing in the back of my head is I want to be a wonderful father. I want to be an active father. I can't do that if I'm this big. So I hope to keep these going. I hope to do one. I want to shoot one after every every workout, every CrossFit workout. And, and then I'm going to keep the camera rolling. I'm going to take a step back and take my shirt off. So be warned, if you do not want to see a giant, fat, really pale, pale white boy, <laughs> well, stop, the can stop the video. <laughs> but you know what? I want to track this. I want to see the change in myself. I want to see the physical change myself. I no longer want to have boobs. <laughs> yes, I have man boobs. I don't know. I have nothing further to say. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and step back. Um, I am going to take my shirt off. So I'm expecting that if anybody sees this video that isn't my close friends and family, there's probably going to be a ton of insults down in the comments. Bring them on. I look forward to them because the more you insult me, the more you piss me off about how I look, the more likely I am to keep pushing forward with this. So I say, you know, internet trolls, come on, bring it on. Do some good and insult my fat ass. I can take it. I'll do some topless modeling and then I'm going to end this but thank you guys thank you for your support thank you for watching and um, for any words of encouragement uh, or you know absolute torture you may happen to leave in the comments down below Yep, this is what a 400 pound fat man looks like with no clothes on. Like I said, I, ha I have man boobs. Hopefully in a month, two months, six months, a year down the road, I look different. It's the only thing I can hope for. And the only way it's gonna happen is if I push myself. So, let's get behind me, let's kill the fat man. If I die in the process of this, it's going to be really, really insensitive of myself. But let's do it. Let's kill the fat man. Guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Internet trolls, thank you for your trolling. I'll see you guys in the, uh, in the next vlog.